with a slow motion crew and we up in the clouds when people change but not us and we just chilling kicking it kissed by the sun could be soaked to the skin in the monsoon i know she got the good vibes when seasons change but when What is up guys? I'm still working on my intro but whatever. In today's episode, we're going to talk about frozen bloodworms. I know some of you guys want me to jump right onto the video but before that, let me just share you some knowledge about what frozen bloodworms are. Bloodworms are one of the best source of proteins for our fish. They came from non-biting midge flies which usually looks like a mosquito and you can hardly ever tell them apart but if you look at them closely you'll be able to find their uh, differences and similarities of sort you can try and culture these guys and in my case i tried but i only ever had mosquito larvae and tell you guys i am not a fan of mosquito larvae because it can then be home for uh, or kind of like culturing dengue in your area which is not good so i suggest you just buy them from a local store or kind of like a supplier don't get me wrong guys uh, live blood worms is one of the best source of protein out there but aside from protein it can also carry along diseases parasites and other stuff uh, which we don't want anywhere near our fish so uh, instead of buying live blood worms if you're not confident enough uh, why not buy frozen blood worms which is the topic of our video for today okay so here i have with me my frozen blood worms i won't be able to tell you guys what brand i use because i really don't understand what is written here in this uh, package but as what you can see if you're going to turn the package upside down you can see it's frozen blood worms it's there it's called a red and all of that okay so now you would also be needing to use a cup a cup you don't use for drinking just uh, any disposable will do this is where we're going to throw the frozen blood worms uh, to get them uh, well prepared for feeding our fish something to mix the blood worms and something to of course get the blood worms out of the cup so you can do this your own way uh, there's uh, really no such thing as the perfect way to do this you can also use a fish net as what i will be showing you guys later in this video as well but for me i think this one would be the easiest thing to do since i have a lot of fish to feed uh, flower horn goldfish and beta fish okay so without any further ado i think we can uh, set up our uh, feeding program so first thing you want to do is to fill the cup with just the right amount of water in order to throw the frozen blood worms. A lot of you guys might have different opinions on this one but if you have lots of aquarium waiting for you I think it is better to just get tap water instead of getting water inside a single aquarium and then spreading everything else throughout your whole setup. Again, I have lots of fish waiting for me, so my best guess or my best estimate would be to use 3 cubes of frozen blood worms to throw inside the cup filled with water. I think I might have been carried away with putting water inside the cup. As what you can see here, it's uh, half a cup. But if you're just going to throw the frozen blood worms, I think half an inch of the cup would do so uh, it would vary depending on the cup you're going to use so try and be resourceful or kind of like creative in doing this stuff guys after leaving the cup for a minute or two i think this one is already ready uh, what you're trying to achieve here is to separate the worms from each other as compared to their former state
so i'm going to feed my betta fish first so mind you guys this would actually be their first time eating frozen blood worms or even seeing them so please bear with me if they have no reaction whatsoever but i can tell you guys that they loved it very much and i will still be feeding them frozen blood worms every now and then so without any further ado guys just keep on watching <laughs> I'm in danger! A few moments later
hey guys if you made it this far i would like to thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed how i fed my fish uh, frozen blood worms uh, they really did enjoy uh, these blood worms especially my uh, flower horns so as what you can see in the video i gave them a thumbs up because uh, the way uh, they feed on this blood worms is such an amazing sight to see they were so excited not even knowing uh, how it tastes but i think that's just the personality of flower horns so don't forget to turn off your uh, aquarium filters by the way when feeding bloodworms because they might end up getting inside the system and may uh, be a problem in the future if uh, you leave it or kind of like left it on while feeding bloodworms so please don't forget that but if you're just on a sponge filter I don't think this would be much of a problem okay so again thank you guys for watching uh, stay tuned because at the end of the video I'll show you guys an alternative of how I will be feeding my goldfish frozen bloodworms using a fish net and I think that's very uh, explanatory but if you still want to watch it uh, please do so okay so this has been Matt thank you guys for watching peace